Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and happy new year! I hope that you're doing well and I hope that 2022 is a lot better than last year for all of us. By the way, I have a new camera and a microphone, if you couldn't already tell, so I hope that the quality of my videos will be a lot better from now on. In today's video I'm gonna reflect on 2021, give you a little update on my life and share with you my goals for 2022. So let's get into it. So a year ago, right before 2021 started, I set some goals for the year and that was actually the first time that I wrote them down, which makes it easier now to reflect on them. And also, writing my goals down really made me think about what I wanted to achieve by the end of the year and what's even realistic to achieve. I set five main goals and I actually achieved four of those goals. 2021 was a pretty eventful and diverse year, I would say. When the year started, I had five months of university left before graduation. And that's when I started writing my bachelor's thesis. That was the longest work I've ever written. And I'm quite proud of myself for doing that because it's usually hard for me to motivate myself to work on big academic projects like that. But I had a pretty interesting subject. And once I understood what the structure of the thesis is supposed to look like and things like that, it was achievable. Then in June, I graduated. I made a video about that if you wanna check it out. So finishing my thesis and graduating were two of my goals that I knew that I would most likely achieve because I just had no other choice but I wrote them down anyway and it felt so good to tick them off This year, 2021, I really got into genealogy and started writing down all the information that I knew and doing research, which was also my goal for this year As a result of that research, I found my great-great-grandma who nobody in my family really knew about and I also found out that my great-grandma wasn't born when everyone thought she was born, but in a completely different month and on a completely different day. I think that these discoveries are so amazing and they're really meaningful to me. Career-wise, 2021 wasn't such a great year. I mean, as I said, I graduated that year and I actually got a job in my field right away, which was amazing. It was another one of my goals for 2021 to get a job and I did, which I'm so grateful for. But as some of you already know, I quit that job after a couple of months of working there. I'll be making another video about why I quit, so I'm not gonna go into details here. All I'm gonna say is that I'm happy with my decision. The only problem is that I'm not 100% sure what to do with my life right now, but I'll figure it out, I hope. For those of you who don't know, I live with my parents, so I don't have to worry about finances and stuff. So I do realize that I'm in a very privileged position to be able to just quit a job without a backup plan. My mom and I kind of made a deal that in 2022 I can focus on figuring out what my next step is gonna be without feeling pressured or rushed. I'm having some kind of identity crisis or existential crisis, whatever you wanna call it. So I really need this year to figure out like who I am, what I wanna do in life and things like that. I know that people figure these things out as they live their lives and I'm just kind of taking a break from life to do that but everyone's different I'm very grateful to my parents for giving me this opportunity to figure things out So now, what are my goals for 2022? My main goal is obviously to figure out what to do next with my life and while doing that, I want to focus on my health both mental and physical and self-improvement I want to work on my time management skills and create routines that will work for me and that I will find enjoyable and that will also make my day more organized. I also want to be more consistent on YouTube, keep on working on my genealogy project and read at least five new books. So that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments what are your goals for 2022, if you have any. And feel free to subscribe if you want to follow my journey, I guess. This is the first time in my life where I don't have a clear vision of what's coming up next, which makes me anxious, but also excited to find out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next videos. Bye!